Hello out there, my name is Benjamin and thank you so much for joining me once again in the studios of Blab and Solutions. So in today's video, I will be walking you guys through another step by step with no step skipped on how to design this lovely label. And this video is coming up shortly. Thank you so much for joining me once again. If this is your first time, this is Blabend Solutions and we are into the production of graphic design video tutorials. So if you think videos of this nature will be of great benefit to you, then I encourage you to hit on the subscribe button, check the notification bell and be the first person to be notified whenever we release our new videos. If you're already a part of this family, thank you so much for stopping by once again. And I really appreciate you guys. Without any further ado, let's quickly jump right into the video and let's begin. Alright guys, so we could see in here, this is our interface and these are uh, the stuffs that I'll be using on my label. It's actually a uh, Sobolo label design that is hibiscus uh, leaf drink is a label design so these are my resources these are actually the resources that i'll be using so uh, let's begin okay so I'll, I'll be working in centimeters so this should be let me say uh label or better still hi this And we'll be working in centimeters, right? So it is 16 by 4 centimeters. And I guess everything here is okay. So what I'll do next is I'm going to click create and we have a canvas here. So I'm going to increase the size by pressing control zero on my keyboard okay so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be importing my images as my background images so in here come in here and I'm going to bring this one first this way and I'm going to place this in here this should go in here I'm going to hold my alt key and drag this this way Let's hold and drag this way. Okay, and let's hit enter for that one. So we have this in here this way, and I'm going to be uh, adding a layer mask in here so that I can wipe some portions of this part off. So with my add layer mask chosen, select this and let's select our brush tool where's my brush tool if you can't find your brush tool just hit B on your keyboard that is a shortcut key for the brush tool mine is small so I'm going to hit on the open sorry I'm going to hit on the open bracket to make it to resize this to a bigger one so I'm going to just clean portions of this and now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the next next image which is this and I'm going to place this in here this way all right so now same way I'm going to hold and drag this in and out I'm going to place this in here this way and there you have it hit enter and same way I'm going to apply a layer mask to this and I'm going to wipe some portions off so select 
hold, go and select your brush tool and I'm going to just wipe some portions of this way and alright so uh, we have this in here this way and I think this is looking good right good so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to do the importation of the image and I'll get back to you guys okay alright guys welcome back so what I did was I just brought the images in here so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to scale or resize them to fit what I want it to be so I'm going to hold my alt key and do this scale them so select this one press ctrl T on your keyboard hold your alt key and drag from one end to the other so drag till you get some uh, let me say a size that you think you uh, you can work with or it's good for you to work with so with this ribbon ribbon or yes ribbon here yeah, I'm going to press ctrl T and I'm going to increase the size of this a bit so I have this in here something like this and I'm going to place this somewhere here this way and uh, I guess this is okay all right so with my ginger placed in here and with my this image placed in here I think I can have this here like this okay but let me place the ribbon beneath okay so all right good 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 so now the name of the label or let me say the product label is nip and a p e what just happened uh, n a p e uh, this is so big so i'm going to reduce the size to about let me say this all right this will be placed beneath the ribbon and uh, let me drag the stuffs down here a bit then. I guess it's okay and with the nape I'm going to just add some stroke to it right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the color white I can't make it red because everything here is already red so uh, let's uh, make it white and then maybe add a, a, a red stroke to it or better still let's make it red and add a white stroke to it Let, and let's see how it tends to be so come to your add layer style in here and let's choose stroke let's try adding a white stroke to this and let's see how it tends to be uh, this stroke should be outside and the size is too big so let's change the size to about eight uh, well I, I guess this is okay what do, what do you think guys but if you think you wouldn't go with the color then you are at liberty to choose any color of your choice all right so uh, this is okay let's hit okay and I guess this is great so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type this text passion bsap let me say so below okay so let me copy this text passion bsap so below then uh, i'm going to uh sorry i'm going to create a new layer on top of my ribbon and what i'm going to do is i'm going to select my pen to right click on it and i'm going to select the curvature Get richer pen to that's good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here this way, and I'm going to click here this way as well. And now I'm going to click in between, maybe somewhere on the line. And I'm going to drag this up a bit. Same way I'm going to click here, and I'm going to drag this downwards a bit. Right. So that is the work of the curvature too. Right. I guess it's okay now so I'm going to let my move to and now I have this part here so what I'm going to do is next is I'm going to select my type to and I'm going to type 
on the path that I have in here right so I'm just going to paste I've clicked and I'm just going to paste in a control V and I've pasted that did I say I just pasted it I've pasted it but I can't see anything all right so let me let me select and change my color okay so let's let me change my color and see I think the color is in red so let me change this to white I still can't see my text what, 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 what just happened all right guys so uh, I don't know what actually happened but with our direct selection tool we can easily drag this out okay I hope this should work yeah, yeah. Hey, please don't play with me don't play with me all right so I can easily drag this up a bit here okay so I can have this here right okay good so I, I guess you guys can see it coming so the other thing is that it's uh, the text is so huge or the size is so big that's why we can see so let me mm, reduce the size to 18 right so you can see everything is out now so let's say 14 let me say 10 okay good so i think i like this then what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold and just drag my guy back hey, please you're going too much you're going too much great so uh, I think let me make it nine great 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 this is okay and let me shift this down once again but uh, this this is looking nice I need it I needed to add one more thing to my nip so it's nips good and let's control T and reduce the size a bit to all right so uh, this is okay let's hit enter and there you have it so uh, quickly we have one more last thing to type in here so let me shift this label and uh, ginger stuffs let me bring them here and uh, let me put this let me see if I can duplicate this passion reserve by pressing Ctrl J on my keyboard and bringing this in here and copying the text of healthy in health health healthy in and out Ctrl C and with my type two selected I can. Uh, press this and paste this one healthy in and out but now i'm going to change the text to let me say mirai pro or something to get uh, okay i guess it's okay let's make it white and i think this is okay the text are not visible enough so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some stroke to it a red stroke for that matter reduce the size hit ok let's still shift our ginger and stuff here and let's bring this in here this way all right so we actually done now uh, what we are left with is to type in our ingredient where it is made from and maybe some contact details that uh, need to be contacted in order to get uh, some of the drink to be bought right so uh, I'm 
thinking of either placing it on my left side or the right side but i guess placing it in the right side it's best because we are dealing with bisap drink okay and this leaves max the bisap there's an orange and uh, so uh, it will be right you place the ingredients here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, create a rectangle shape let me say a rounded rectangle shape and i'm going to place the items on it so i'm going to choose uh, something like a darker color this way this way all right guys so and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to reduce the opacity of this shape so uh, in here i can reduce the opacity of the shape and maybe resize this in here this way all right so now let's quickly rush for uh, uh let me say it's coming out live and i guess uh, this is okay but let me increase the size of the ginger and that of the 100% natural a bit let me place it on top here all right well I'm still, ha <laughs> I'm still having some thoughts of changing the color of the nibs all right so let me change that and quickly so with a uh, white color and maybe a black sorry did i say a black stroke not a black stroke and a red stroke all right i guess it's not bad as compared to that first one let's try increasing the size a bit nips all right guys so this brings us to the end of today's video tutorial i believe you learned something in here if you did please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and also make sure to like the video as well let me also know what you think about this label design in the comment box below until i come your way next time it is still blab and solutions and thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video